Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the polymerization. In general, polymerization involves the formation of a high molecular weight polymer from the monomers. So, polymerization involves the condensation of large number of monomers to form a high molecular weight polymer. Polymerization takes place in the presence of a catalyst at high temperature and pressure. The most important feature of polymerization is the reaction is highly exothermic. So, polymerization is an exothermic reaction. That means, Polymerization is accompanied by the release of heat energy. So, heat control is the major task during polymerization reaction. Let us discuss in detail about the types of polymerization. Coming to the types of polymerization, polymerization can be classified into three types. So, polymerization can be classified into three types. Namely, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization and copolymerization. Let us discuss in brief about the each and every category of polymerization. So, coming to the addition polymerization, it is also known as chain polymerization. So, addition polymerization is also known as chain polymerization. In particular, the monomers with unsaturation, that means monomers containing double bond or triple bond undergo addition polymerization. So, that means monomers such as ethylene, vinyl chloride, styrene, acetylene undergo addition polymerization. Let us see the formation of polyvinyl chloride. So, during the formation of polyvinyl chloride, large number of vinyl chloride monomers undergo addition polymerization that results in the formation of polyvinyl chloride. So, polyvinyl chloride is obtained from vinyl chloride. So, it is also called as PVC. In particular, this addition polymerization takes place in the presence of benzoyl peroxide as the catalyst. Temperature is maintained around 80 degrees centigrade. So, in the presence of benzoyl peroxide as the catalyst at 80 degrees centigrade, vinyl chloride monomers undergo addition polymerization and that results in the formation of polyvinyl chloride. So, the important feature about addition polymerization is in this process the monomers add together by the repeated addition and that results in the formation of a polymer. So, here a polymer is obtained in such a way no simple molecules will be eliminated. 
so no by product is formed and if you carefully observe the polymer it is the exact multiple of the monomer so the polymer is the exact multiple of the monomer and coming to the mechanism of addition polymerization it follows chain mechanism and this chain mechanism involves three steps namely chain initiation chain propagation and chain termination always remember one fact the chain mechanism is a rapid process so addition polymerization takes place rapidly so here addition polymerization takes place rapidly as it follows the chain mechanism no by product is formed the polymer formed is the exact multiple of the monomer and in particular the monomers having unsaturation especially containing double or triple bonds undergo addition polymerization next let us discuss about the condensation polymerization so coming to the condensation polymerization it is also known as step polymerization so condensation polymerization is also known as step polymerization let us see the condensation polymerization so coming to the condensation polymerization the monomers containing active functional groups such as acid alcohol halide amine alkali undergo condensation polymerization that means monomers such as di acids diols di amines undergo condensation polymerization let us see the formation of a polyester so during the formation of a polyester a diol reacts with a di acid so during the formation of a polyester diol reacts with a di acid so here a polymer is obtained due to the chemical reaction between the functional groups of the monomer that means acid reacts with alcohol in such a way water molecule will be eliminated so during condensation polymerization a chemical reaction takes place between the functional groups of the monomers and hence always it is accompanied by the elimination of simple molecules such as water or hcl or methanol or nacl etc so let us see how a polyester is obtained 
so here oh and hydrogen will be eliminated as the water and coming to the structure of polyester co benzene nucleus co o or o it is the structure of the polyester so polyester mainly contains ester as the functional group so during the formation of polyester what happens diacid reacts with the diol and that results in the formation of a polyester and always condensation polymerization is accompanied by the elimination of simple molecules and coming to the mechanism of condensation polymerization always it follows step mechanism and hence it is a slow process so condensation polymerization involves the step mechanism and hence it is a slow process and coming to the copolymerization it is also known as joint polymerization so what is the other name for copolymerization joint polymerization in this polymerization a copolymer is obtained that means monomers having different chemical structures undergo copolymerization one best example is the formation of buna s rubber so during the formation of buna s rubber 13 butadiene that is ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 reacts with styrene ch2 double bond ch benzene nucleus so the first monomer is called as 13 butadiene and the second monomer is called as styrene so always 13 butadiene reacts with styrene and that results in the formation of buna s rubber when sodium is used as the catalyst so during the formation of a polymer here what happens especially the previous double bonds will be broken at the single bond position a double bond will be formed and these two monomers are joined together so coming to the structure of buna s rubber it can be represented as ch2 single bond ch double bond ch single bond ch2 and these two monomers must be joined through a single bond ch2 ch benzene nucleus the same structure will be repeated n number of times so it is called as buna s rubber so during copolymerization what happens monomers of different chemical structure undergo condensation and that results in the formation of a copolymer here in case of buna s rubber na stands for that means sodium is used as the catalyst this is about the types of polymerization if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day